You will think that football players are friends, but one of them smashed a teammate's wife, and another allegedly blackmailed a teammate and got arrested. Before we get to those, let's look at Erling Haaland's hate for the whole of Manchester United. You had that right, the whole of Man U. Holland grew up seeing his father, Alfie, play for Manchester City, which made him into a super fan. When Manchester City played their rival Manchester United, one of their players, Roy Keane, completely destroyed Alfie Holland's life. Seriously, dude, summoned Jackie Chan's spirit to make that tackle. We know it was intentional because Roy insulted the poor dude after getting ejected from the game and screamed. Alfie was forced to give up football and obtain a normal job after suffering a severe knee injury from the tackle. Alfie's son, Erling Holland, hated Roy and Manu as a result, and this hatred fueled his rise to the top of football in order to get revenge. What a small world we live in. Holland eventually joined his dad's old club and couldn't wait to bully Manchester United players. The hatred was so intense that in his first match against Man United, he couldn't even stand being in the same picture with an ordinary logo. I can imagine how crazy it is. Dude went on to score three goals against them in one of the year's biggest tournaments. He defeated them once more and mocked them as he lifted the trophy in front of United's fans. Although I hate to admit it, Holland's father's life being destroyed may have been for the best since his hatred of footballers fueled him to become a football hero. Maybe that's the best form of revenge you'd think, but this dude right here thought is completely different. He isn't going to wait on no kids to come take revenge for him. Nah, it's an eye for an eye battle for the man who called himself Lion, the one and only Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic hated another player so bad he put him in the hospital. In all you do, you don't want to get on the wrong side of this big dude. But actually, Zlatan didn't make the first move. In a match between Inter Milan and Juventus, Inter Milan star player Marco Materazzi but the adrenaline drove him to want to keep playing to get revenge until Zlatan's manager substituted him out to prevent further injury. Zlatan was never able to move on from Marco's tackle. He wanted revenge so badly, and three years later when he joined a new squad, he finally got it. Again, Marcos messed with the sleeping lion. He made a nasty tackle on Zlatan. Like, bro, what was he thinking? Look at Zlatan's face, man. He couldn't believe it happened again. Although the tackle got Zlatan a penalty, and like you'd expect, he buried it straight into the net. You must be a joker to think a mere penalty will cut it for a player of that status and character. Zlatan didn't just want to go up one. Zero. He wanted to put Marco in the hospital. Oh my god. Zlatan turned football into the UFC with a kick to the chest and an elbow to Marco's head, and it was man down. The only thing Zlatan could say after Marco was rushed to the hospital. I hit him with a taekwondo move. I sent him to the hospital. When asked, why would you do that? Zlatan said, I've waited for this day for four years. But come on, Zlatan says and does whatever he wants. But not like this guy right here who smashed his teammate's wife. Kevin De Bruyne hates his countryman Thibaut Courtois because he smashed his wife. Come on, these girls are always causing trouble. Even with a thought this awful. Well, Kevin isn't any better, so I assumed they were a good match. However, it didn't take long for things to get horny, because Kevin became good friends with renowned goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois, and the two played together for the Belgian national team. Thibaut was used as a side piece when Kevin's wife visited the same city as him and slide his DMs to meet up. Although I'm sure you can guess what happened next, if not, the news revealed everything. Kevin's wife got smashed so hard by his best friend that she couldn't help but testify to Thibaut's on-bed performance publicly. She said that evening Thibaut had given me something I hadn't gotten from Kevin in their three-year partnership. This dude obviously has things he does better than keeping the ball out of the post. Kevin was devastated and obviously didn't want his boy to have sloppy seconds, so the marriage ended and the hatred began. Not only did Kevin take his rage out on Thibaut whenever he faced him by scoring absolutely bangers with 
one of the biggest goals of the season, you could tell Kevin hated Tebow by how fast he scored. Kevin hated this guy so much, and you can tell by how swift his mood changed when he put the guy in FIFA, he moved from being happy to being furious. Even playing video games gives Captain flashbacks of Tebow beating him in the back. Quick confession, I'm surprised Kevin didn't do anything stupid like what Kareem Benzema did. What Kareem Benzema did to a football player didn't only get him hated, it got him jail time. Police were looking into some random texts Val Buena received in which criminals threatened to leak a pornographic video he had recorded unless he paid them a bag. Since Val Buena obviously didn't want that to happen, he asked his teammates for assistance, and Benzema seemed to encourage him to simply pay the blackmailers off. This advice seems pretty suspicious, and the police had to tap into Benzema's phone, and that's when they heard a disturbing conversation. The police pursued Benzema after he confessed his involvement, and eventually he was suspended from the national team. Although it makes no sense why he would engage in such a cheap act, the hatred between Benzema and Matthew Valbuena has never ended. But that entire incident only cost Benzema a few years as opposed to Cristiano's own, which cost him a fortune. Cristiano Ronaldo hates a renowned manager so much that he forfeited $17 million. You're surprised? I am too. My life will take a drastic turn for good with that bag. Well, let's look into what happened. It all started when Manchester United hired legendary manager and former football player Eric Ten Hag, thinking his services would make a huge difference to the messy situation of the club at the time. Cristiano isn't really his favorite, so he started putting a strict restriction that naturally seems he's targeted towards Cristiano. As if that was not enough, Ten Hag uttered a weird statement about wanting to regulate what Ronaldo consumed. He forbade all players from having personal cooks, something Ronaldo had been utilizing for more than a decade. Instead, he was made to eat at Man U's lunchroom, but this dude won't stop there. When Ronaldo began arriving at the team's facilities in fast cars, paparazzi swarmed the practice field to take pictures of him frequently. Ten Hag believed that Ronaldo was more interested in becoming popular than in practicing, so he forbade super vehicles and made Ronaldo drive a corporate car instead, which would draw less attention at the time. Ronaldo wasn't feeling Ten Hag anymore at this point, but he stayed quiet until an important game when, for some reason, Ronaldo was benched for the contest. Ten Hag didn't give a damn about who Ronaldo was, and to prove who's the boss to Ronaldo, he tried to bring him on at the stoppage time of another game. Ronaldo refused to go in and walked out of the stadium while publicly putting up a Ten Hag blast. Yeah, Ronaldo wasn't going to let anyone boss him around, not even that bald guy, and after publicly admitting his hatred for him. Ronaldo and Manu discussed the possibility of him leaving the squad, and they decided to end his contract early, costing him approximately $17 million. The good news is that Ronaldo will probably make that again in just a few weeks. That will be all for this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to encourage us by liking the video and subscribe to the channel.